The North Dakota Game and Fish Department has been monitoring deer for chronic waste and disease since the early 2000s. CWD is this invariably fatal disease of deer, moose, and elk. It's very slow moving, both with, throughout a population and across the landscape. Each year, Game and Fish test animals from around the state to determine where CWD has spread and how common it is. We first started finding deer in Grand Sioux County, hunting unit 3F2 in 2009, um, and we've been finding positive deer down there ever since. Unfortunately, in 2018, we found it for the first time in Divide County, uh, unit 3A1, and uh, since then, we've found it further south as well. Um, you know, Williams County in unit 3B1, and then uh, unit 4B last year. Hunters who harvested deer in one of these units there are transportation regulations they need to follow. The high-risk carcass parts can't come out of the unit, which means spinal column, brain, soft tissues associated with, with the head. Um, you know, check out our regulations to really to spell out um, you know, what those materials are. During these uncertain times, Dr. Bonson and his crew will focus their efforts in higher priority areas of the state this year. Given COVID situations, we're actually only prioritizing Northwest and Southwest, so we can kind of focus our resources, our personnel on areas where it's a little greater concern. For hunters in the Northwest or Southwest, there will be around 60 sites to drop off your deer head for testing. We make every effort to try to provide test results within three weeks. And uh, this year you can access those results by um, going onto your online account on, uh, on the web page. Hunters have a responsibility to help manage CWD in North Dakota. It continues to be evident with more and more research that our best management tool is, is consistent, steady hunter harvest every year. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.